NASA plans to build a telescope on the moon. How is this even possible? NASA's eyes are gleaming with a curiosity over a groundbreaking lunar endeavor, a colossal telescope spanning the moon's vast expanse. This time, NASA has just stoked the fires of innovation by granting researchers the means to turn this lunar dream into a reality. This is Explorium, and welcome to our channel. Today, we explore everything about NASA's plan to build a telescope on the moon. Now, you might wonder to yourself, why the moon? Well, it turns out that the moon's far dark side offers an unparalleled celestial sanctuary. Imagine a proposal that envisions a 77 square mile telescope meandering gracefully over the lunar terrain, reaching out to touch the cosmos. While this audacious project remains in the realm of ideas, it is not yet a fully funded mission. Multiple space agencies and, interestingly enough, commercial companies are gearing up for a lunar rendezvous with dozens of missions slated to grace the moon's surface by the decade's end. While many of these missions will involve nimble robotic spacecraft, the star of the show is NASA's audacious Artemis program, poised to make human footprints on lunar soil happen once again, right smack in the middle of the decade. Why all this lunar frenzy, you might ask? Well, there's a tapestry of reasons woven into this lunar tale. From geopolitical posturing to the search for lunar treasures like water ice lodged in the moon's polar regions, the promise of extracting these resources for rocket propellants like hydrogen and oxygen is simply too enticing to ignore. However, amidst all the ambition, let's not forget the scientific jackpot that the moon represents. Our celestial neighbor, the moon, still holds a treasure trove of cosmic secrets waiting to be unveiled. It silently witnesses the grand drama of the solar system's birth and evolution. But that's not all. The moon has a pivotal role to play in the realm of observational astronomy. Just this year, a gathering of brilliant minds at the Royal Society delved into the lunar potential as an astronomical shelter. The very thought of what lies ahead with enhanced access to our lunar neighbor ignited this discussion. In our hunt to understand the universe, various branches of astronomy stand to reap substantial benefits. And let's start with the star player, radio astronomy, which finds its ultimate stage on the side of the moon perpetually turned away from Earth, the far side. No human-generated radio signals intrude upon this untouched realm, and even during the lunar night, the far side remains untouched by the sun's interference. In the vast spectrum of our solar system, there's simply no rival to its radio quiet status. What makes this far side so extraordinary for radio astronomy? Well, radio waves, these enigmatic forms of electromagnetic energy, come in a multitude of flavors, just like the colors of the rainbow. Their wavelengths, much like the keys on a piano, determine their unique character. Earth's ionosphere acts as a gatekeeper, blocking radio waves with wavelengths longer than 15 meters from reaching the planet's surface. Yet these very wavelengths find their way to the moon's unobstructed surface, presenting a golden opportunity for astronomers. Low-frequency radio astronomy is an uncharted electromagnetic spectrum territory. Here, the lunar far side emerges as the unrivaled theater for cosmic exploration. These wavelengths hold the key to unveiling the structure of the early universe, particularly the enigmatic cosmic dark ages. This was a time before galaxies took their dazzling form, when the universe's matter, excluding the enigmatic dark matter, existed primarily as neutral hydrogen atoms. These atoms emit and absorb radiation at a characteristic wavelength of 21 centimeters a cosmic signature radio astronomers have been tracking within our own Milky Way since the 1950s. But hold on to your cosmic seats. Here's where it gets truly thrilling. But before that, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. In its ever-expanding majesty, the universe has stretched the 21-centimeter hydrogen signal from the cosmic dark ages into even longer wavelengths. Now, hydrogen from this era will manifest with wavelengths exceeding 10 meters, a cosmic echo of the universe's primordial whispers. The lunar far side may very well be our one and only window to peer into this cosmic portal. In the words of renowned astronomer Jack Burns, the lunar far side isn't merely a silent stage, but a pristine, quiet platform to conduct low radio frequency observations of the early universe's dark ages, as well as space weather and magnetospheres associated with habitable exoplanets. It's a cosmic stage where the secrets of the universe's infancy are suspended to be solved before our eager eyes. 
One such revelation is the thrilling possibility to detect radio waves emitted by charged particles trapped within the magnetic fields, or magnetospheres, of planets orbiting distant stars. Why is this a big deal? Because it could provide crucial insights into the habitability of these exoplanets, offering a glimpse into their potential to host life beyond our solar system. These radio waves from exoplanet magnetospheres are no ordinary signals. They are cosmic giants, boasting wavelengths greater than a staggering 100 meters. To pick up these whispers from the depths of the cosmos, we need a space environment that's as quiet and hushed as a library at midnight. And where is the perfect location for such a cosmic eavesdropping? Well, you guessed it, the lunar far side. The lunar far side is also a prime spot in the hunt for signals from intelligent beings beyond our world. Imagine receiving a radio transmission from an advanced civilization, a message from the stars. It's the stuff of science fictional dreams, but it just might become a reality. And here's the kicker. As we venture into this uncharted region of the radio spectrum, we're poised on the brink of uncertainty. New phenomena, cosmic surprises, and unexpected discoveries await us in this unexplored territory. Now mark your calendars, because this cosmic stage is set. NASA's Lucy Night Mission, landing on the lunar far side in 2025 or 2026, will offer us a tantalizing glimpse into the boundless potential of these observations. Now, we're no strangers to optical and infrared telescopes in the cosmos, like the iconic Hubble and the James Webb Telescope. The lunar surface offers a unique stage for these instruments to shine. Stability is the name of the game, and the moon's surface has it in spades. Our infrared telescopes must operate at bone-chilling temperatures on Earth to avoid the heat interference that blurs cosmic visions. James Webb even sports a colossal sun shield to fend off the sun's scorching rays. Now enter the moon, with its lunar craters tucked away in eternal darkness, never touched by sunlight. These craters become natural cosmic sanctuaries, providing free shielding for these temperature-sensitive telescopes. It's like having Mother Nature herself act as your thermal engineer. But there's more to this lunar adventure. The moon's gentle gravitational embrace means that we can dream big, really big. We're talking about constructing telescopes of colossal proportions, far beyond the reach of their free-flying satellite counterparts. Imagine the cosmic revelations we could uncover with these behemoth observatories, in the realm of gravitational wave detection, where we eavesdrop on the universe's most cataclysmic events, the moon's serene, shadowy craters offer yet another advantage. These lunar cavities, untouched by the sun's warming rays, create the perfect environment for the next generation of instruments, tuned to detect the elusive ripples in space-time generated by celestial fireworks like exploding stars and colliding black holes. In the visionary words of astronomer Jean-Pierre Maillard, the moon may very well be the future of infrared astronomy. On this cosmic stage, science and exploration converge to illuminate the mysteries of our universe. The lunar neighbor has been a cosmic canvas bearing the scars of relentless bombardment by charged particles from the sun known as the solar wind and the relentless onslaught of galactic cosmic rays. This lunar surface, etched with the history of these celestial processes, holds within it the secrets to unraveling the epic tales of our sun's evolution and the Milky Way's cosmic journey. But here's where the plot gets interesting. As humanity embarks on this renaissance of lunar exploration, astronomy emerges as the unsung hero of this cosmic adventure. The moon, with its newfound infrastructure for landing, rocketing, and vehicle maneuvering, becomes a pivotal hub in our quest for celestial knowledge. We're not just sending robots, humans will also be on site, working alongside their mechanical counterparts, erecting and maintaining astronomical instruments that peer into the cosmos. Yet like any great story, there's a twist. The lunar far side, our sanctuary of cosmic silence, may face an unforeseen antagonist, human-generated radio interference. As we busy ourselves with lunar activities, this interference could disrupt the pristine conditions required for radio astronomy. Even our ambitions to extract water ice from the lunar craters, shadowy havens perfect for stargazing, might inadvertently compromise their use for astronomical observations. In the face of these challenges, the clarion call rings out from astronomers worldwide. Don't you think we must protect these sacred lunar locations, unique in their value to astronomy as we embark on this new era of lunar exploration? 
we have two more videos on the screen especially for you, so please click on one now.